Hey YouTube, this is the fourth video in the video series and in this video we will be talking about sockets and three-way handshake. Uh, I hope you really enjoy it and let's quickly get started. So the most basic question to ask ourselves is what is a socket? Okay, and in the computer software industry, uh, what we refer to as a socket is basically a way for your computer to understand uh, how and what it has to uh, send data to. Okay, and uh, we will be talking mostly with respect to TCP sockets in this particular video because that is what is relevant to us. Okay, and uh, let me quickly pull out a diagram that I've made here, uh, which I've, I've actually used from some other website whose link I will be putting in the description. Let me pull that. Yeah, so this is the basic uh, idea behind a socket. So what happens is uh, basically in the client side, you create a socket in which you define the server that it has to talk to. In our case, the IP address that the client receives uh, after the DNS resolution that we saw in the previous video and also a port that it has to send the data to. Okay, and this port we received uh, when we spoke about HSTS, right? So it is either port 80 or port 443, depending on uh, which protocol you're trying to connect to and all of that. Okay, and once both of that is fixed here on the client, uh, what happens is uh, you create a socket on the client and it tries to connect to the server. Okay, and uh, by server, what happens in a server is basically it tries to always listen on a particular port. Okay, and uh, if we choose to connect over port 80, on the server it has to be open okay the port 80 has to be open and the server has to keep listening for new connections on the same port okay and once the socket is created on the client it kind of sends some uh, some data to the server on that particular port and similarly server also receives data on that particular port okay this is the entire idea of a socket and uh, via a socket you can stream data and that's why we call it a tcp streaming socket uh, so this is the basic idea of a socket. The next thing that I would want to cover is what is a TCP three-way handshake. Uh, before we move on to the TCP three-way handshake, one more important thing that I wanted to let you guys know is that uh, basically a browser, uh, when it has to create a socket, it, it makes a socket system call. Okay, and that's how this socket is created and it also provides the relevant details like the server IP and the server port that it has to connect to. Okay, and now it's time to go to the TCP three-way handshake. Okay, and uh, uh, there are a few important things to note in this particular diagram. Uh, the first thing being the client here. Uh, the second thing is the server on the right-hand side. And the uh, arrows that you see in the middle are the uh, connections that it is making to and fro, uh, from and from and to the client and the server. Okay, and on the left and the right side, you also see the state of the uh, current connection. Okay, uh, so once the socket is created on the client, what it does is it sends a SYN packet. Uh, this terminology is very uh, particular to TCP. Okay, and since it is a TCP three-way handshake, the client first sends a SYN packet uh, and the SYN is like a short form for synchronize. Okay, it asks the server to synchronize with the state that uh, the client is referring to. Okay, and basically the client is in SYN sent state when it sends a SYN request. And it also sends a sequence number uh, just to keep a track of the packets that are flowing. Okay, the server receives the SYN packet and uh, the uh, state of the server uh, is now as SYN received. Okay, I'm extremely sorry about the spelling. I just pulled this diagram uh, from a website. Uh, so that's the reason it is like this. Uh, and what happens next is the server acknowledges the SYN that it received from the client if it is able to serve the connection and it also sends a SYN uh, on its behalf. Okay, so it sends a SYN packet as well as an ACK packet. So basically it combines both of it and it calls it a SYN ACK packet. Uh, so basically it also has, it has its own sequence number and it also provides an acknowledgement number which is the sequence number of the client plus one. Okay, so uh, since it was 100 here, it uh, acknowledges with the 101 uh, acknowledgement. Uh, once the client receives this acknowledgement from the server, it understands that the server is ready to take the client's connection. It has accepted the connection. Okay, and uh, what it changes its state to is called an established state. Okay, once the state of the client is established, 
that's when it sends an acknowledgement to the server saying uh, even I received your sequence uh, number for the SYN packet and here is the acknowledgement and the acknowledgement is the sequence number of the server plus one and it also increases its sequence number by one uh, its sequence number previously was 100 and now it becomes 101 okay and once the server receives the acknowledgement from the client it understands that the client is also ready to make the connection and it has the has its state changed to established okay this is how the tcp three-way handshake works in theory uh, let me quickly pull out a quick demo for you guys uh, so for this particular demo uh, i shall be using a tool called wireshark here okay and uh, this particular tool is basically used to capture your packets uh, flowing outside from your computer and which is flowing in inside your computer uh, so basically you start listening on a particular interface in my case i'm connected to my mobile hotspot so i shall be listening on that interface uh, the wi-fi interface and uh, i have also put a filter to only listen to tcp traffic uh, so for this demo we shall be visiting facebook.com okay and while i do that let me also start my packet capture here and when i hit enter it is supposed to load facebook page for me and the packets also should have been captured uh, so here is the uh, tcp three-way handshake i was able to find it with the packet capture okay so initially what happens is you have a sin request which is made then you have a sin act and then you have a acknowledgement okay so if we go a little deeper here you also notice that there is a source port here okay 58397 this is a port which is allocated locally on your system okay so uh, if you have to communicate to the server uh, there has to be a connection which is established uh, since you know the destination port is 80 and you know the destination ip as well what you also need to find out is what is the source port and this is done when you call the socket syscall okay uh, by default your kernel assigns a particular port uh, for this connection to take place okay and this is what the source port means then you have your destination port and uh, what you also have is a sequence number here okay uh, the sequence number is zero as you can notice okay and the other parameters are out of scope for this video you can uh, go and read more about them uh, similarly what happens is you have a response coming from the server and this is from the port 80 of the server to 58397 on your server and this as we saw in the tcp three-way handshake is a second step which is a synac packet uh, this also unfortunately has chosen sequence number zero uh, in our demo i think we had taken 200 or something in the uh, image okay but the acknowledgement is the sequence number which was sent by the uh, client plus one okay in this case it was zero so it is ACK uh, of zero plus one which is one similarly you have a uh, acknowledgement for this sin packet sent from the server by the client okay and this is again using the same port which is 58397 to port 80 of the server it is an acknowledgement for this particular packet or particular sin packet from the server and it is uh, your sequence number plus one as the acknowledgement which is ack equal to one and the sequence number of this also increases uh, as per this so it was zero initially and it has become one now okay so this is the tcp three-way handshake which happens and once this is done uh, we also have a http request which is made which will be covered in the next video thanks for watching the video uh, in the next video we will most likely be covering uh, uh, tls handshake as well as http protocol if possible uh, that's all for this video